At an infertility clinic, the doctor will conduct a physical examination of both partners to determine their general state of health and to evaluate physical disorders that may be causing infertility. Usually, both partners are interviewed about their sexual habits in order to determine whether intercourse is taking place properly for conception. For a woman, the first step in testing is to find out if she is ovulating each month. There are several ways to do this. For example, she can keep track of changes in her morning body temperature and in the texture of her cervical mucus. Another tool is a home ovulation test kit, which can be bought at drug or grocery stores. Checks of ovulation can also be done in the doctor's office using blood tests for hormone levels or ultrasound for imaging ovaries. Some common female tests include hysterosalpingogram, an x-ray of the fallopian tubes and uterus after they are injected with dye. It shows if the tubes are open and shows the shape of the uterus. Laparoscopy, an examination of the tubes and other female organs for disease. An instrument called a laparoscope is used to see inside the abdomen. For a man, testing usually begins with tests of his semen to look at the number, shape, and movement of his sperm. Depending on the test results, different treatments can be suggested. 85 to 90% of infertility cases are treated with drugs or surgery. Fertility medications are used to stimulate the ovaries to ripen and release eggs. In the case of obstructed fallopian tubes, tuboplasty is done. Donor insemination which involves the woman being artificially inseminated with donor sperm, is called an intrauterine insemination, IUI. In couples where women have blocked or absent fallopian tubes, or where men have low sperm counts, in vitro fertilization, IVF, offers a chance to parenthood to couples who until recently had no hope of having a biologically related child. In IVF, eggs are surgically removed from the ovary and mixed with sperm outside the body in a petri dish. After about 40 hours, the eggs are examined to see if they have become fertilized by the sperm and are dividing into cells. These fertilized eggs, embryos, are then placed in the woman's uterus, thus bypassing the fallopian tubes. In IVF, there are many variations. These include the following. Use of donor eggs and or sperm in IVF. This happens when a couple's eggs and or sperm are unusable or to avoid passing on a genetic disease. Intracytoplasmic sperm injection, ICSI, in which a single sperm is injected directly into an egg. The fertilized egg is then placed in the woman's uterus as in IVF. Zygote intrafallopian transfer, ZIFT, in which eggs are removed from the woman, fertilized and then placed in the woman's fallopian tubes rather than the uterus. Gamete intrafallopian transfer, GIFT, in which eggs are removed from the woman and placed in one of the fallopian tubes along with the man's sperm. This allows fertilization to take place inside the woman's body. Other assisted reproductive technology, ART, assisted hatching, fertility preservation, freezing, cryopreservation of sperm, eggs, and reproductive tissue, frozen embryo transfer, FET. But is just a single visit to IVF clinics sufficient to conceive? Let us find out the success rates of IVF treatments.